We're in my studio here in New York City with Kelsey. She's a cotton candy vendor in Central Park. So we're gonna shoot some really fun shots of her here with colored gels. So what I wanna use now is a technique called, what we call pop and blur, where I'm gonna use a longer shutter speed and then a flash to freeze the motion. First thing I wanna do is get a feel from my background lights. I have some different colors thrown up here. So I'm just gonna shoot some exposures just without anything moving, just to get a base exposure. Right now I'm at F8 at one second. Let me see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks pretty good. What I can do, if I wanted just for experimentation, I'm gonna to go to F11. Now note that I'm using a Profoto B1, so it's working in TTL, so when I switch to F11, it'll compensate automatically. Okay, that made my color a little darker, a little bit more intense. Let me try F13, just, just for good luck. So I've got a few different exposures here. I've got F14. I've got F11 and I've got F8. I think because she's a cotton candy vendor, I want to keep the colors bright, but I don't want it to be too bright, so I think F11 is going to be where I'm at. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just move the camera, and including zooming, moving the camera in circles, back and forth, up and down, all different directions during my exposure. What that's going to do is freeze Kelsey in position and then have all the colors being kind of wild behind her. So let's shoot a few and see what it looks like. So depending on where I have my sink set up here, first curtain or second curtain, it will change when Kelsey's frozen. So you see here, first curtain, second curtain. First curtain sink means the, when I, as soon as I press the shutter button, the flash will fire and then the rest of the exposure will happen. In second curtain sink, the exposure happens for all the ambient light first, then the flash fires at the end. So depending on where I want her frozen in the shot, I can set it on either way. I think I'm gonna use the second curtain for the zoom shot. So we had a lot of fun today with the pop and blur technique. Remember you can move your camera, you can move your lights like we just did with the rope lights spinning around, and you can also move your subject. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and we'll see you next time on set.